Hello, this is Rocky Patel with Chronic Lifestyle, and today we're going to be talking about cleansing crystals with essential oils and energy. And here you can see a, a gold rod crystal here with a 24 karat gold rod there. When healing crystals become contaminated, their energy flow is greatly reduced and can cause them to break. They break so that the contamination can be released. I hear many stories of healers accidentally breaking the tips or dropping their crystals, causing them to break. <clears throat> this here is an 11 inch crystal here, made for um, Ricky Williams many years ago. It's got a 2 inch gold rod. And it is basically an ounce of 24 karat gold in it. And we have been using essential oils to help keep our crystals clean and help minimize contamination for many years. You can tell a big difference when using oils on crystals. The crystals become very shiny and bright. This is a crystal I made a few years ago with amethyst. It, we actually glued this together with a 24 karat gold rod in the, it's what I call the sport tip here. The energy shoots out very quick. I usually cleanse my crystal, which is my healing crystal, like when I'm doing healings, or my pendants also, or any type of crystal or rings I wear on the body. I usually cleanse my crystals under running water after spraying them with like lavender oil and alcohol. And then I wash it with a mixture of salt and 30 drops of lavender oil with one pound of salt. This process quickly carries away contamination. It is recommended to use a few drops of lavender oil on the hands to help activate the hand energy centers. This oil adds a violet energy to the healing treatment and removes contamination with every swipe of the crystal. So when you put lavender oil on a crystal, it helps make the energy come out violet. It's very powerful. Good for doing emotional, you know, emotional work on people. And basically, you can take a crystal, especially one after doing healing, and after you think you've cleaned it, you take it and you scan the energy of it, and maybe just um, you know, grab a little bit of the energy from the crystal with your hand, and just fill it. And then take a drop of like energized essential oil and put a drop on it, like like breast or energized lavender oil, and then scan it again, and then rinse it under running water. I actually learned this technique for purifying crystals from Master Chuck Cook C. One time in California, he had just done a healing on like 200 people at the same time using a healing crystal with the gold rod in it. And he, as soon as he did the healing, he handed it to me, asked me to go clean it. And I took it in the bathroom and I, and, and I was, you know, he told me to rinse it with running water and salt and to rub it under the water. And I noticed as I was doing that, that contamination from the crystal was carried away. And then, you know, he walked into the bathroom and he, grew, he grabbed the crystal from me and he was like, is it clean? And he was like, he was like, scan the energy of it. And then he projected some type of energy through it. He didn't tell me what he did. Then he said, you know, here we go. And he asked me if it was clean. And, you know, he ran some type of through it, you know, with his hand. They really purified it and energized it again. Lavender oil, like most essential oils, can be used pure on healing crystals or sprayed with an alcohol mixture during emotional healing sessions. Spraying by color energy. When using essential oils on crystals, the crystals become affected by the colored energies of the crystal being used. To change your crystal with colored energy, essential oils can be applied onto the crystal itself. And it doesn't have to be like one of these crystals. It can be any type of crystal. So if you want to use green energy, you can add 15 drops of tea tree oil and 20 drops of sandalwood oil to 4 ounces of water or vodka or alcohol, and you spray the crystal with it, and this helps make the energy that comes out of the crystal green. So for orange energy, you can add 10 drops of eucalyptus oil 
and 10 drops of essence oil to 4 ounces of water or vodka or alcohol. This will help make the energy predominantly orange energy, which is expelling energy. For red energy or prosperity energy, or to help root and ground, you can do 15 drops of rosemary oil and 15 drops of patchouli to um, 4 ounces of water or alcohol. And for violet energy, add 20 drops of lavender oil and 20 drops of lang lang oil to 4 ounces of water. For pink energy, one of my favorites, you add 10 drops of rose oil to 4 ounces of vodka or water. This can be used on a crystal when healing children or the elderly with pink energy. Pink energy is also great for emotional healing of anger, resentment, and unforgiveness. Blue energy, you can add four drops of chamomile oil on the crystal while doing healings, or you can just put it on a crystal and hold the crystal, and it will energize your body with blue energy. And you can also soak the crystal in front of salt with lavender oil in it, and you can place it in front of the arm CD by Master Charles Cooks. This is the most effective way to purify a crystal. Is to run it under, you know, running water and rub it with salt and lavender, and then put it in front of a, a speaker playing the mantra Om. It's very powerful. You know, you don't want to maybe soak a gold rock crystal in, in um, salt water because it might, you know, affect the, the gold rod. So you can put oil on a crystal and put it in front of the speakers playing the mantra Om. And you can leave a plant for several hours. This will not only purify the crystal, but actually purify your whole neighborhood and the entire environment. And you can also use essential oils on crystals itself. Like if you're wearing, um, you know, like a, a ring, like say amethyst, and you put like a drop of violet, um, you know, lavender oil on it, this will help fill your body with violet energy. And normally, a lot of times, crystals will absorb psychic attack. Like, instead of hitting your body, they'll actually be absorbed by the, the crystal. So, anytime you wear crystals on the body, it's good to, you know, especially for, like, a nurse or, like, you're working in a stressful environment, corporate America or whatever. I'm sure there's lots of weird thought forms going around. And so, you want to clean your crystals or rings several times a day after stressful events and after being contaminated places. You can use lavender oil, rose, and sandalwood on a clear quartz crystal, pink quartz, or amethyst. The blessed oil will quickly purify and put lots of energy in the crystal. You can use rosemary oil or patchouli oil on you know, ruby or a garnet to super energize it with even more red energy. Frankincense or eucalyptus on citrine help put more orange energy. And let me take you to um One second here, I'm scrolling through the PowerPoint as you can see. Maybe I'll quickly go through these. So basically, you know, pranic royal therapy or pranic lifestyle is a symphony of colored energy and aromatic scents. Basically, essential oils have, you know, colored energy, and when you mix essential oils together, like, like one with, like, pink energy and, you know, lavender energy, or so lavender oil and rose oil, it really goes together, and it, it, like, amplifies the power of each one. And you can bless oils with, you know, healing, prosperity, love, protection, different types of energy. And one time I asked Master Cho Kotsui about the 
the effects and colors of it, I think, I think it was eucalyptus oil, and he said, essential oils contain um, many types of energy, just like a person can be a teacher, a student, a healer, an engineer, all at once, and essential oil is the same way. And they can be used in different code combinations for different effects, like green and orange, you know, tea tree and eucalyptus. And um, it, it just magnifies the power to help disintegrate negative, repressed, and blocked energies in the chakras of the user. You can use your own blends, you know, mix them in almond oil or jojoba oil, master chore like a jojoba oil, or jojoba, as they say down in Brazil. Um, so you can add 30 drops of essential oils to one ounce of carrier oil. So sandalwood adds green, sandalwood and tea tree add green energy, eucalyptus, frankincense, oregano, or, or orange energy, jasmine and rose are pink, lavender and lang lang add bluish violet energy, and sage adds green, blue, and violet energy. The essential oil molecules are crystalline in nature. This explains why they can hold and transmit powerful blessings. The colored energies and chemicals inside the essential oils give them powerful healing properties. And when you put you know energy on top of it, it just really magnifies the power. So what exactly are blessed or consecrated oils? Well, essential oils naturally vibrate at a high frequency. Blessed or consecrated essential oils are those that are infused with certain kinds of energies such as spiritual energy, healing energy, prosperity, love, and divine protection. You know, these are surgeons right here. They're having their hands anointed with anointed oil, so their hands are blessed. So basically, when the oil is put on the body, you know, the energy goes from the bottle of oil and it downloads onto the person. That's what's called the point of contact. And when you put it on, like, say, a chakra, like, you know, the throat chakra, the chakra spews out negative energy and expands. You know, as a spiritual energy or blessing, you know, is used up, you know, the chakra gets really big, but then once the energy is depleted, it'll go back down to, you know, the normal size. And, you know, you can, you can scan like a bath. You can feel the energy of a bath, like just water in a bathtub, put a drop of blessed oil in it, and then also bless the water, and then scan it again. You'll see a huge difference. The water becomes energized by the energy contained within the essential oil. And you can also, you know, inhale an essential oil and you'll feel the different chakras activate and, and inhibit. It's like a, a tuning board where basically you could take one oil and the chakras will do one thing and then you take another oil and then other chakras, you know, start to move. And I was once with Master Choi in a health food store and he was having me sniff like 20 different essential oils. I don't know how many, was, but like, it was like both rows on the double rack they had there. And he would have me inhale and then scan my chakras. And you, you know, that's how I learned, you know, how the different chakras are affected by the essential oils. Just like one of the holy men, <laughs> just like inhaling right out of the big jug. And, um, you know, certain oils like rose oil activate the heart center, patchouli, and other oils help activate the, the sex chakras. And essential oils, you know, since they're crystalline in nature, they can hold a tremendous amount of energy. When these oils are prayed over and blessed, a tremendous energetic transformation takes place. They become very, very powerful. The energetic properties of the tiny crystals can be observed to be super bright and glow like little suns in the inner world. So when the oils are, are blessed or consecrated, the charge may be held for a surprisingly long time through the crystals or crystalline structures found inside the essential oils. Like that blessing can last many, many, many years, probably even hundreds of years, depending on how it's stored and, and who blessed it. So the blessed oil becomes a point of contact. 
This means that when the oil is used on the body, the recipient is instantly put into direct contact with the spiritual energies flowing from the higher realms. This is, um, I think this is supposed to be Mary Magdalene, and they rub spikenard oil all over Jesus' feet, and she put it on top of his head even. So, you know, the blessings in oils can help cleanse contamination and blockages out of the energy centers and cleanse and purify the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. The, the degree of spiritual investment of the one energizing the oil greatly affects the power of the blessings. Essential oil is blessed by an individual, not on the spiritual path, like somebody off the street, may have a, you know, their oil is a certain, you know, um, radius, like in feet. No, no, it's, you know, could be a meter, could be a few meters. And, you know, like a holy man, like, you know, like Sai Baba or somebody, they're really, 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 you know, thousands of meters, if not, you know, into the hundreds of kilometers and even bigger. So the more advanced the person does in oil, the more potency. And the, the, sh the oil of the, you know, the bottle of the oil, you can scan it, you zoom out in your mind, and then you, see, you feel the outer edge of the, the energy coming off the oil, and it's just like, you know, you can get pretty big. So basically, when you put these oil, like they do in the church, they, they put it on a person's head, it super activates the forehead chakra, and then at the same time, you know, they can just put the oil, and then they blast it with, like, you know, they say a prayer at the same time. So the oil you know, helps cleanse and activate the chakra and makes an entry point. And then when you blast it, you know, energy, it just shoots into the chakra. And that's why the people fall down. You know, they're like, oh, you know, bouncing around and stuff is because they're just, they can't handle the energy and the people fall down. So when oil is properly blessed, it has the ability to bring down tremendous spiritual light to the users. And as we said earlier, the different colored energy properties of essential oils can be used in different combinations for different effects. Okay. This is for, uh, you know, other, um, other talks in the future. So basically, I just wanted to show you more about essential oils. So on PranicLifestyle.com, you can see all the books of uh, Master Chow Kok Sui. You know, uh, uh, right here, you know, you can see them all. Got many different books. And most of them are, um, that I have here are sold out. But we'll, we'll have these soon. But you can get like the CDs, OM CDs, Miracles to Pranic Healing, Crystal Healing, Meditation on Two Hearts, with Psychological Healing. Really cool. And then if you go over here, you can see all the laser crystals. You know, extractors for purifying the chakras, Kri Shakti activators, pink quartz healing crystals, normal laser crystals, extractor crystals, pink quartz, amethyst crystals. These are really great for psychotherapy. And then we have like disintegrator crystals, these long skinny ones, gray for psychotherapy. And they also have energy healing packages. This is for four weeks of energy healing being done on you, where we disintegrate like negative energy connections and cords and help cleanse and energize your projects. Then we have you know, happy spray, which is really good for cutting, happy oil, chronic lifestyle book, you know, lavender oil. And we'll have more oils in here soon. And then live events, that's more about, you know, coming on our, our weekly webinars and seeing the chronic lifestyle TV. Oil cleansing. That's for 
Probably for the home sessions, if you're done long distance, probably killing, find more about the Miracle Soup, probably killing book. And then we have our blog, and then video gallery. And normally the video gallery shows up here in the navigation, I'm having that fixed. We have a, a tons of videos, all about, you know, the books and CDs of Master Trail Coke Sui. So I'm not showing up yet. Then with Pranic Aromatherapy, if you click here, it'll take you over to a page here where they have all these essential oils. And these are all therapeutic grade essential oils. Very, very good stuff. And basically, you know, you can become a member. And save 24 then And they'll ship it directly to you. And then and basically it's on a page like this. And basically, you know, to be able to get stuff wholesale, you get a kit like this with a free, a free uh, diffuser included. Very, very cool diffuser and very powerful, um, you know, set of essential oils with thieves and other very, very good stuff. And Ningsa Berry or Wolf Berry from China. Very good stuff. Yep. And also you can get um you can get on our um free essential oils one on one class here. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, visit MikeLifestyle.com and we'll see you next week. You guys have a good day. Bye bye.